Hello, this is the Crafty Rose. Today we will talk about 14 different kinds of paper. In the paper crafting, there is a vast variety of paper and cardstock. Today I will show you some of the different kinds of papers and cardstock around. This is a class in our Back to Basics series. To help you, I put chapters markers in the description below. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Now let's get started. The first one that we have here is the cardstock. It's just regular cardstock that comes in 12 uh, by 12, 8.5 by 11. And then it could be this specialty paper, which is for watercolors. That's why it's, it's more, it's thicker. See? And it's done by that, so it can absorb the water for the watercolors and give you time to finish your project. On the regular cardstock, I have here the package that I use for me base of my cards. This is uh, 65 pounds. It's not that thick, um, but it has body to help do the cards. Okay. This eight and a half by 11, and this if you cut in half, you have two cards from one page. Okay. okay. And now we have the marble card. It's called like that because if you see, you can have different, it's kind of like old paper that you can use for your journaling or for other projects, mixed media. Gives a, a look like it's a stained paper. Like you used to stain the paper with uh, coffee or tea. That would be the look that you can achieve here. And now we have the double-sided cardstock. This cardstock, um, you can see it, has a different colors on the back, and it also comes in a big bed. I got this at um, Michael's. It has all these different cards, so each card is back and forth, different colors. Now we have the regular paper. This is pattern paper. It's, um, it's not solid, it has a design. It comes in 12 by 12, 8 by 12, by 11, and 6 by 6. I bought this 6 by 6 in a little pad at the dollar store. So if you see some, it's good. It's um, in good thickness. And good value and also I got this pad these are marble so all the paper have a different shade of marbles which I love all of them of this thing it would be great in a canvas for mixed media or in a card or even an envelope I think I use those envelopes for my cards. Now we have here their pattern regular cardstock. It's just I have a design on one side and it's reversible on the other side. It's here if you need to combine to make them mix. You have this blue here on the diamonds, this green here on the edge. So if you buy like two or three of the same paper, you can just mix and match and it will be good. Also, there are compacts on papers that are two-sided too. Just um, in 12 by 12. I'm going to put the link for this um, on the comment section below. We also have the a specialty paper, right? This is 
embossed. Let's see if you can see. Flowers are embossed. And a little bit texture. We also have here a half glitter and the little flowers on the swirl and on this edge. You can achieve this look also if you have a regular paper and then you use this little uh, glitter bottles, glitter glue onto it yourself. It would uh, get a similar look. Also, this is a foil. I know that some um, foil is very um, popular now. Sometimes you can find paper that has the foil already. Okay. The next one is this paper that has glue in the back. And then se several different shades or patterns. And as you see, they are glue in the back. When you use this um, paper, it's very great to use in a Cricut or the Big Shot and die cut machines, or also for punch. So if you need to punch um, certain shapes, it's nice when the paper has glue in the back and you just have to peel and, and press on your pro project. Mm -hmm. Now here we have This is of the vellum. And vellum is paper. You see, it's kind of transparent, and so you can see this was um, pad that I have 11 for 17. It's good, it's a good deal of price for that, that pattern, vellum specifically. Now here we have the glossy paper. This one is more popular, is the, what they call the Jupo paper or cardstock. Jupo is very, very smooth. So whenever you are working with alcohol inks, it gives time for the alcohol to spread and you can get a, a better result. Also, you can use a that I have by 11 glossy cardstock, but it's only glossy on one side. This is uh, glossy for both sides. And it also comes a glossy paper in 12 by 12. I saw an example here glossy paper that I use to make uh, background paper for a card. I just I find it so pretty. I just have kind of a hard time cutting it. <laughs> now we have the glitter pad. Glitter paper. This glitter paper can feel it's kind of like a texture and you can see how it shines also in this loop we're gonna find this is heavier uh, glitter you see here all of the colors that comes in the bag but here you see colors. Christmas has always put a little bit of bling in the cards so we can use this. I don't recommend for any base of cards or scrapbooking because it's way too much. Too much it would just get the attention in our own places. Okay. We also have This is felt. It's really, really soft, but it has a paper on the back, so it can be cut in the mach cutting machines. 
this is velvet and feel really cold soft on the bottom and this is shimmer this shimmer is regular paper but it has like a coat of gold that um takes different colors under under the light also there's the mirror paper you have different colors for the mirror paper it would be awesome to use in accents on christmas time you will see on christmas time when we make cards we will use this one the other one is this is virtual metal it looks like it fits metal when you need to use um like the look of metal but it's not metal it's just paper and it also has glue on the back so no um, cricut that any type machine punches it would be very flexible and with an advantage to use that glue in the back and last but not least the pearlescent paper Taylor Jour, this is my favorite. Yes, I bought a pack of 500 of the red one for Christmas, and I use it for the base of the paper of the card. As you can see, it has this pearlescent shade. Because if, if you cut this in half, you will have uh, two cards out of this. Uh, Two cards will be an A1 that's a four and a quarter by five and a half and different shades for your specific projects but it will it is very very nice and that is all for today if you have any questions a suggestion for a class or just to say hello leave a comment below and if you like our content please like and subscribe have a great day and remember, stay crafty.